What's today's date? March 22nd. And I am just coming on with a video this evening. I had planned on doing this video earlier, as always, but I'm just getting to it. I started to wait until tomorrow and do it early, but I figured, nope. While I am not busy and nothing's happening and the house is quiet, I'm going to just do it now. So, if you are new, please subscribe. If click the notification bell. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. And please, everyone, give the video a like. Hit the thumbs up button. And you're looking at on my changing table tonight, Little Miss Rosie by Paradise Galleries. So far, her name is still Rosie. I have not changed it. You have not seen Rosie in a couple of days. I would say like a week. You haven't seen her. And that is because when I got Rosie, I had, well, I was trying to decide if I was going to do anything to her. So Rosie is a Paradise Galleries full body silicone preemie or micro preemie doll. She is their first silicone that they have produced. And she is what you would call, I just gave her a bath. Um, she's what you would call mass produced or manufactured, but she is an authentic silicone baby. She is not a knockoff because someone made that comment in her first video when I first showed her. No, she's not a knockoff or a copy or anything. She is actually an authentic silicone doll, but she's mass produced by Paradise Galleries. And they bought the rights to this doll to mass produce her. She is sculpted by artist Pat Moulton, and you'll see her signature on Rosie COA. This Rosie is number 245. Um... I'm not sure how many, like, is her edition limited in any way? I am not sure. As far as I know, they're still selling Rosie. So if you're interested in buying her, she is on paradisegalleries.com. Um, so, yes, she is sculpted by artist Pat Moulton, as you can see right there. So she is actually, you know, sculpted by an artist and everything. And she was the rights to reproduce her and sell her was bought by paradise galleries so when i got her i was debating on whether or not i wanted to add any details to her or change her skin tone or darken her skin tone so first i wasn't sure because when i first got the doll as i was looking her over and feeling her silicone it felt she's definitely a firmer silicone i don't know what um i can't remember if it says what type of silicone she is in the listing but she's definitely firmer but also not only that when i as i was feeling her she's very smooth um, she's mad. She was mad at when I got her, but not very mad at like when we paint our silicone dolls, like when I paint mine and I matte them, you can tell that they're matted. They're nice and smooth. You can tell it's matted with her. She's smooth, but it's a different feel from how when we hand paint the silicone dolls and we're matting them by hand. It's her, the way this doll feels is slightly different. This is my first time, I believe, my first time having a manufactured silicone baby. She's my first. So to me, comparing her with our normal silicone dolls that we buy and the ones that I've painted, um, hand painted and hand matted, she feels different. So I was kind of skeptical and a little bit nervous, as I had said. I wasn't sure if I wanted 
to even try to do anything to her. So after the video, I was, you know, touching her silicone and looking her over. I had, re, you know, undressed her again. And I still wasn't sure about it, but I said, okay, I'm going to try it. So I did try painting her. I don't know if you could tell on camera. She looks a tad bit darker than she did when I originally got her, if you could tell. But as I started painting her immediately, say from the first layer, I knew that it was not going to work out right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I knew. Um, this is my first time, like I said, what you would call actually where the term reborning came from was in the beginning, originally reborn dolls. The word and term reborn meant when artists would take like, say, a, a doll that was mass pro produced and already painted and say a Behringer baby or something, and they would then go back and repaint that doll and add more details and root hair and all of that to reborn the doll. So basically this doll is manufactured, she's mass produced. So what I was gonna attempt to do, what I was trying and attempting to do was reborn her basically, add my own coloring to her to enhance her the way I wanted her to look and add details to her. But as I started off with her, I immediately knew that it wasn't going to work out. I don't know what it is with a mass-produced silicone doll manufactured. She's not hand-painted like we hand-paint them when we're doing a silicone doll. When I paint a blank silicone doll, I'm hand-painting it myself. Something is different when they mass-produce them. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they're putting the silicone pigment, uh, the paint into the, sil the silicone and then pouring it. I don't know how it's made. I don't know how it's done. So I'm not even going to pretend, but I'm trying to like, in my mind, I was trying to figure out what it, what do they do that's different? I guess machines are also doing it. It's not a person, you know, doing it, but something is different. And, or it, that could be the issue where I was finding the silicone that I'm painting her with, which is smooth on brand silicone, is not able to cure really well on a lot of different areas on her. Some of the areas on her cured perfectly fine and then other areas would not. And I noticed it right away. So I didn't go too far on her. I tried about a few layers on her and I just knew that, okay, it's not going to work. So uh, some of it, I, I, I took it back off of her, the paint that I was painting her with because it just wouldn't cure. So I don't know what's different with her being manufactured and me trying to paint her by hand now to reborn her, to add to her what's different from what I'm doing than how she was made, you know, how the mass produced silicones are done. How are they doing it? I don't know. But anywho, that was the outcome. And I kind of figured it. I don't know. When I looked at the silicone when I first got her and I was looking her over before I started painting her and then I was bathing her and cleaning her before you start painting them, you have to do all of those things. And I just knew something is different about her silicone and it's really, really smooth. It's really smooth. It, it's just different. So anyway, if anybody else was trying, was going to try to do the same thing, be careful because you might can do something different from me or it, you might end up with the same outcome that I did. So basically you would be wasting a lot of hours of time and then have to just take the paint back off and you're wasting your silicone because that stuff is expensive. The silicone paint is expensive, so you don't want to waste it. So I figured I would just come back and share that just in case anybody else is thinking about trying to, you know, add to their rosy doll. Um, be careful. Possibly it may not work out. So that's what I wanted to say with all of that that I was saying. Yeah, it it just, it was a difficult feat. Um, this is back of her. 
And as if you could tell, I didn't do as much to the back because once I started doing the front and I seen how it wasn't going too smoothly, it wasn't working out. I kind of didn't do as much to the back. I kind of stopped. Um, I And I do like the color she was getting to, but I, I was like, forget it. It's not, it's just not going to cure. So now the paint that she does have left on her, I want to see how long is going to, if it's going to stay on her. So this for me was a learning experience and I kind of knew I was getting her and I possibly was going to experiment. Um, and so I took my chances, but you might not want to do that with your doll if you don't want to take the chance and mess up your doll. But I actually got her to try it. So I just went ahead and tried it. It was an experiment and a learning experience for me to just try it out. Um, but yeah, I just figured I would share that just in case anybody else is going to try it out. Um, so yeah. So now I am expecting some clothes in her size because she's 14 inches and I don't I don't have any clothes left in the dolly size 14 inch because when you get preemie size clothes like the regular um, child of mine, this is Carter's preemie um, and this is an older onesie I had. It's actually pretty small, but a lot of them are still too big for this doll. This is another one I had. It's really small and narrow, but I had this one a long time also. Carter's preemie. Um, but the newer Carter's are actually bigger than these older ones. So I was going to try one of those on her tonight because I'm waiting for clothes in 14 inch size, but they're not going to come until Monday. I believe it said when I checked the, the um, tracking. And then I have this one, which you'll notice is wider than the other two I just showed. But this one is shorter. And this one is a Gerber Organics um, Preemie. But all of them are slightly different, I noticed, the Preemie clothes. And she can fit them, but you have to kind of squinch them up on her. See how that the Gerber one is way wider than the Carter's? But the Carter's one is longer than the Gerber. Is so funny with these clothes. Like all the brands are slightly different. But I was just going to put her on another diet, a pamper. And probably try this floral um, onesie on her tonight. Just to put something on her. So I'm still going to play with her. I'm still going to share her in videos here and there. Um, and I'm going to just see with the paint that I did get to stay on her. We're going to see if, you know, if it stays on her. I want to see. Or if I will just end up washing it off. I'm not sure. If I could actually wash it off, I may just wash it off. Um, that means it's not cured. Because usually if silicone is cured, you can't get it off. I don't care how, how hard you try, how much you wash, it won't come off. But if it's not cured, well, that's when you'll have peeling and that's when you'll have where you give them a bath and say they start peeling or paint start coming off, that means it was never cured in the first place. So with her, some of the areas I already knew, um, the main problematic areas that I had were the lower parts of her arms, her hands, and her feet. Definitely difficult, would not cure. So basically, I washed off the paint off of her feet off of her hands and her lower arms pretty much i wiped the paint i washed it and scrubbed it back off which means it was not cured and it's i started painting her like say last weekend so it's been over a week definitely what i did last weekend would be cured way before now and it still wasn't so that means it just was not going to cure so i was able to just scrub it back off and then i also have this um onesie Gerber the plain white one but these are even really wider the white ones it this almost reminds me of a newborn onesie instead of preemie so what I was looking at for her this week was to order some um specifically doll handmade preemie size clothes for 14 inch dolls so that's what I I did I had ordered for her and I also have another preemie size baby girl on, that's coming 
So I figured I would just order, start ordering some more preemie size clothes for 14 inch girls where they could just share the clothing because the next baby is also silicone so they can just share but yes so that is the issue i ran into with little miss rosie here so i may keep her name rosie <laughs> um it, it to me it matches her but if i had have gotten her a little bit darker as I was going for, I wanted to make her like a biracial skin tone. I would have changed her name to something else. So since I had not changed her name yet and I didn't get her much darker, I'm going to just leave her name Rosie at this point. Um, I'm going to put another diaper on her. So the one I wanted to try this time is these little plain white ones i have to check ebay for these i was looking the other night i'm going to look again but i could not find these now they had some other little preemie ones that says for dolls from five five pounds no not five pounds no 13 inches what am i saying 13 inches or 14 inches is for small dolls like her but they look so little but i don't know she might could fit them so i might end up ordering those but guess what those things and their disposable diapers are so expensive for these little teeny dolls and they weren't even huggies or pampers brand it looked like it's actually a diaper made for small dolls not real babies and they was just as expensive as if you were buying the box excuse her little parts if y'all seen that but she's a doll um but those little diapers are just as ex expensive as if you were buying it for a real baby okay she can't fit these <laughs> i'm glad i tried them so these are really little she cannot fit those those are too tight she actually fit the other one i had put on her the first time which was a baby alive diaper she can fit those really well. So now I'm going to try this one, which is actually a real Huggies. It says MP on it, if you can see it. And that's for Micro Creamy. And these I also purchased off of um, eBay a while ago. I had them for a long time. So we're going to just switch it out and put that one. If I show too much of her little bits, I might have to cover it with something when I edit the video. <laughs> but yes, so that was the outcome. I knew when I started that it was a possibility it wasn't going to work. I could just tell there's something different about Rosie's silicone and the paint or the process that they put it through when they're doing, you know, mass producing them. However they do it, it does not seem compatible with how we hand paint them or the paint I'm using is not compatible with the paint they, they used. I don't know what it is, but something is definitely different. So that is how she fits this little um, Huggies Micro Preemie. I might need some more of this kind. I like how these fit her. They are a good fit. So, anywho, I figured I definitely wanted to come back once I was done with her and share the outcome. So, that way, if anybody else is attempting or thinking of it, you'll kind of know my experience, but you know some artists might know exactly what to do when repainting or reborning a mass produced doll and you want to go back over them and do your own you know painting and details they some may know what to do but this was my first time trying it and it was definitely a fail i <laughs> i could not get the paint on this baby to cure and especially in certain areas like i said it just it just was not happening. 
So that is this onesie on her. And as you can see, I can scrunch it up and it does kind of fit her. And it, like I said, this particular onesie is way, um, it's narrow, so it's not real wide. So it kind of fits her little body pretty good. I'm going to just put back on her headband that she came with. And I was going to root her some hair. I might still end up doing that. I'll see. That you can probably do. But the painting part, I don't know. And I would have to see, like, what color hair I would want. I don't know. I might leave her bald, possibly. And then I have these little pink socks, which she wore last time. And these are preemie socks, believe it or not. But they are pretty big. Even though they're supposed to be preemie, they're not all that preemie. They look like little newborn socks to me. And then I have these little furry ones, which are also supposed to be preemie. But pretty much anything you put on this little baby. If it's not specifically made for a preemie sized doll, it's going to be big for her. But she can kind of fit it and get away with it. Just so she'll have something on until I get the doll clothes that I ordered. And finally, I believe my pickle is on the way, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> it seems like I've been waiting for that doll forever. Um, but I got an email this morning from McPherson's saying my shipment is on the way. So I'm assuming it's pickle. I don't think I ordered anything else. That's who I'm waiting for right now. I did pre-order another baby, but I know that one is not, is not that one yet. So it should be Pickle. So that's how she looks with this passy. This is not the one that came with her, though. This is the ones I ordered from Paradise the Galleries in this little pacifier set that they have on their site. Okay, so that is Rosie. So now the next thing I wanted to share is this teeny little bundle right here. Look at this little bundle, you guys. It is so small. So this is a new baby I got in this week that I am going to be painting as well. And it is so tiny. Look at it. This will be the first, a lot of firsts for me here little teeny mini silicone doll that I will be attempting to paint for myself. So this one is actually blank and this one is not painting at all. <laughs> it's an actual blank and I'll bring it closer so you can see the cute little face. And it actually has armatures in and he's a boy, but he has little armatures if you can see. And I don't want to put him on the furry blanket, the crochet blanket, because I'm going to be painting him and I don't want to add extra fuzzies to him. But he does have little armatures. I think that's adorable. <laughs> and I cut out this diaper for him to make it fit him from the white diaper I was going to just put on Rosie and it didn't fit her. But this is how this fits him when I cut it. Like they are so perfect for him when you cut them this same little diaper here that i was going to attempt to put on rosie they don't fit rosie but when i cut it down it fits this baby so well so he's anatomically correct and everything he's a little boy and his sculptor is kimberly dolls kimberly keller of Kimberly Dolls on Etsy, and he is the birdie sculpt. He's number 28. I'm not sure how many she's going to be making in this edition, but he's number 28. He's one of her newest sculpts. Um, he was produced on March 8th of 2024, and I ordered him directly off her site, and that is his COA. So he is the one that I will be working on next what's back here care instructions are in the back of the coa 
and it says from the lips of children and infants you lord have called forth your praise matthew 21 16. that's what's on the back of the coa and this is i i've had a kimberly doll like at least seven years ago now it's been a long time and the first coas they kind of looked like this but it didn't she didn't have it laminated and it didn't have the, the care instructions in that little Bible verse on the back. It was just the doll COA. So that is who I will be working on next. I did want to show him. I don't know what his name is going to be yet, but he is the birdie sculpt. And you can just see him near Rosie and how tiny he is next to her. So that is him and then the next thing i wanted to share in this video i'm going to move him out of the way is what i had ordered also i just ordered this seat and it's kind of close to the camera Let's see this little car seat if you guys can see it it's so cute it's really nice nicer than what I was thinking it was going to be and I ordered this off of Amazon and it has a little butterfly in there and the little strap and then it has the carry handle and you can actually press the buttons here on the side to put the little handle back and everything so I had ordered this I think it was like it seemed like I ordered it last night but I'll be ordering stuff at night I don't know I mix it up it was either last night or the night before I ordered this car seat and it already got here early today. Like that was the fastest shipping ever. But that's how she looks in the little seat. <laughs> it's like the perfect, perfect size for little Rosie here. And like I said, the next baby that I'm waiting on is also going to be the same size. So I figured I would order them a little seat to sit in. Move this back a little bit. And that is all for this video, guys. That is my Friday night video. So I don't know if you guys will see this tonight because it's kind of late. Probably you'll see it early on Saturday, tomorrow. But anywho, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a nice weekend.